Hey everyone! Okay, part two. Let's do more questions. Um, the last one was seven and a half minutes. I'm going to try real hard to make this one, like, under five. Uh, let's see. Okay. Timothy Jensen asks, have you ever wanted to cosplay specifically as a duo? Um, so, like, uh, as a guy-girl pair. Um, I've never dated somebody who is actually into cosplay, and I would love to. Uh, I would love to do a guy-girl pair. I feel like I was always that girlfriend. I was like, please cosplay with me. Um... And I actually have a couple friends, um, Abby and Keith, who are the most amazing cosplay duo, and I like just aspire to be them anyway. Like I just everything they do, I'm like, they're so cool. Um, so yeah, I would love to cosplay in a duo. Um, I, I just think it would be really fun. I actually love cosplaying in groups because um, it's just so much more fun to walk around with other people and to be appreciated all for the same thing. Um, and it and also like you feel so bad when you walk around with somebody who's not in costume and they're like, can you hold my purse like over and over and over again? And it, it, I feel bad. Um, okay, Casey Barson asks, what are your future career plans? How long do you see yourself with SourceFed? And do you have anything similar? Do do you have plans for anything similar as a solo project in the future? Um, nope, don't have any plans for a solo project in the future. Um, you know, nothing beyond these vlogs. I. You know, I, I obviously love to um, talk to you guys and love to do them, uh, but I would love to stay with SourceFed as long as I possibly can. I adore the other hosts that I get to work with and uh, the people behind the scenes who make things happen. It's just been really, really fun. It literally go into work and like sing songs and laugh and and just have fun. <laughs> so, um, who would want to give that up? Um, Isaiah Ogojo asks, favorite cartoons as a kid, favorite cartoons as an adult? Um, all right, favorite cartoons as a kid. Let's see. Um, Rock Was My Own Life, for sure. Um, Doug, uh, Rugrats, um, the, I, not really Ren and Stimpy, but I do remember watching it a little bit. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, my brother and I used to watch that a lot. Pirates of the Dark Water was a great one. Um, David the Gnome was a good one when I was a kid. I watched a lot, pretty much raised by the television. So I watched a lot of cartoons as a kid. Um, and favorite cartoons as an adult. Um, let's see. <laughs> Doug and Rackers Modern Life, which is on Netflix, by the way. If you haven't watched it, you totally should. Um, oh, and Archer. Oh my gosh, Archer. I, like, have just gotten introduced to Archer, and I watched all the first two seasons in, like, a weekend. Oh my god, it's so good. I love it. And, um, I'm a family guy when, um, back in the day, so I'm used to all the Shut Up Megs. Um, and actually that's where I got Penny's name, like I said in the last one, so family guy too. Um, Chris Preto asks, what exactly turned you on to cosplaying? Um, I went to Ushikon 1 when I was 14 and I saw all the people in costume and I, I'm not even kidding, I literally was just like, how do I get in on this? Like, I, I need to do this. Um, do, 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 um, you have a weird name, girl, or guy. <laughs> Shanewaz Bambi. Chaudhuri? I feel like that name is just to make me, like, just to make me stumble. Um, they said, um, have you ever visited Japan and when did you learn Japanese? I've never been to Japan. I actually had tickets to be there, um, when the earthquake and tsunami happened and thankfully we had to push the trip, um, due to a work commitment. Um, and so I didn't get to go, obviously, after that. Um, I learned Japanese in college, where it was my minor. And she also asks, um, what animes do you like or what is your favorite? Well, my favorite anime for sure is probably between Sailor Moon and Cowboy Bebop. And, um, yeah, I just, I don't think I've ever met somebody who doesn't like Bebop. Like, it's so good. And Sailor Moon is definitely, it's for the ladies. And I'm so excited because they're coming out with a new Sailor Moon um, next year that's actually closer to the manga. And the manga's, um, it's less... Like, it's less, I hate to say, like, the word cartoony, but it's, it's, a, it's a little more serious, and, um, the love story is very exciting, which is my favorite part. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited. Let's see. Um, more questions, more questions. Um, Daniel Ziedman asks, what do you think the, the Democrats could do to improve their image and party the most? Well, that's a really good question. Actually, I've really enjoyed all the political debate that's been going on, um, since we started the live shows, 
And uh, I think, first of all, I think the, the first thing the Democrats could do to improve their image is actually sticking to democratic policies. President Obama has done a lot of compromising. And although I really do like having a president that wants to sit down and have a discussion with someone, um, I am also voted for him because I wanted things like a public option. And I want gay marriage to be um, something that everyone who wants to have access to it, obviously, to have access to. And I want it to be a policy that people can no longer be discriminated against for their sexual orientation. Um, um, and so I, I think part of that is being able to get married if they choose to. And so, you know, I really think that sticking to um, those kinds of policies that are important to me, um, a woman's right to choose, things like that, um, I just don't think that there has been enough of a push on a push for um, on the Democratic side. I think it's been a lot about compromising and um, winning the independent vote. And, you know, I, as a Democrat, I that upsets me. You know, that, that frustrates me. Um, but... Um, as for like improving their party image, um, you know, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I think sticking to what you believe and, and really making it happen and actually affecting change would be the best thing they could possibly do. And who could be, uh, I mean, obviously anybody could be upset, but you know, who can be upset when you say you're going to do something and you do it? Um, I think that's the best thing you could do. Um, last question. Um, Tim Robinson asks, what has been your favorite thing you've done slash person you've talked to with the RNC? Um, let's see. My favorite thing I've done or favorite person I've talked to with the RNC. I got to talk to um, Heather Smith today, who's the president of Rock the Vote. And she was so fun and so informative. And I just love what she's doing. I did like a big rant on voter apathy today. And... Um, it's a really important issue. It just like, gets me so worked up. There are 81 million people who could have voted in our last election who didn't. And that drives me nuts. Like, that's 81 million. What are you fuckers doing? Get on the boat. So um, I, I love what she's doing. And so um, it was really, really cool to talk to her. Um, I think I had like one or two tweets I wanted to hit. Let's see. Dan Nguyen asks, um, where did you go to school slash what was your major? I went to school at Texas State University. Hello, San Marcos. And um, I have two degrees, one in history and one in electronics slash new media. And, of course, my minor was in Japanese. Um, I think that's the last one. I think there's more, but I don't want to, like, sit here. Oh, wait, I did want to hit this one. John Thomas Lord asks, can I have a hug? Of course, you can have a hug. If you can meet me in person, if you see me in person, you can have a hug. Um, I only ask that you ask first because someone at Comic-Con tried to hug me randomly um, when I was with the Avenger Bunnies and we had bodyguards and they almost got taken out by the bodyguard. And I just don't want that to happen to you. That would be real sad. Um, also, if somebody just jumps on me and I don't know who they are, that would be pretty scary. Um, and then one quick question that I get a lot um, is do I have tips for people who... Um, like kind of like cosplay etiquette for photographers and my very first thing is um, always ask if you can take a photo like if I'm eating pretzel please don't take a photo of me eating the pretzel but um, don't be afraid to ask also on the flip side of that because you know you're in a costume for a reason you don't want you want people to take your photo you don't want to be like oh no no photos um, that doesn't make any sense to me but another like weird pet peeve I have is when people pick me up in costume um, I'm not a plaything. I'm not a thing that you just pick up randomly. I mean, like, when people ask, sometimes I'm like, oh, sure. But if they just, like, pick me up, like, it's, I don't know, it's like a weird violation not being able to get out of someone's arms if you want to um, right away. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, thank you guys so much for all your questions. I will totally answer more. I'm sorry if I didn't get to yours. Um, they're kind of all over the place now that I'm doing it a day later. later so, um, yeah, thank you guys so, so much. And I'm so excited to uh, keep vlogging and talk more, you know. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm sure I'll do a vlog from the floor. And um, I hope you guys tune into the live show. Okay.